Hello, and it's me again, Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Today, I want to explain to you how I do my uh, my planning, dealing with my curriculum. Um, I make up my own curriculum or basically my own agenda. I use different resources, different um, tools and stuff like that. Um, basically, what I do is I create the, the best learning format for each particular child. I have two children. And they both learn two different ways. Um, what my son, like I said before, I don't even know if I said it before, but my son has autism and also he has dyslexia. So I have to be very mindful of how he learned and he's very active. So he's one of those people that have to move a lot in the learning process. My daughter, she is, uh, um, she does very, very well. She's more like a traditional learning meaning She's very good at doing her work, following a list and stuff like that. So um, I don't really have to beat on her as much as I have to do with my son because he's a little bit more active than her. However, I have to make it interesting for her because if she, if I lose her interest, she, she easily get bored. And that's with both kids. So I have to like do stuff specifically for them and also do stuff with them. All they're in two different grades. He's in the fourth and she's in the six I do include them on a lot of different projects and different things together and then the things that uh, I see they need extra help on I like separate them and I do give them that one-on-one -on -one. but anyway this is the planner that I really really love I have tried many different plans I have like PDF format ones that I got offline for free but this particular one that I really really like I'm a person that like to have everything written now I need to see it and I like it space I need a lot of space whereas most people like a smaller planner um because I don't know some people like small some people like big but I'm one of those people that like a big planner and this was a gift from another homeschool mom to me now I mean for me rather what I love about this planner is like I said before I love space then I have the grades here it helps me keep organized. Right now, I'm in the process of transferring records from one book to this book. But anyway, what I like is that these um, this planner is not predated, so I can add my date here, as I already done. This is just for January, and I write everything out. And let me do a wide view of how much did I do. Like for example, um, on this particular day, I prepared their worksheets in the binder. They did their online school. And when I say online school, I mean like my internet programs that I have for them, like Moby Max or um, Essential Skills or Social Express to help him with autism and different stuff like that. I also have them doing handwriting. I know a lot of schools are not uh, promoting or doing handwriting, but I feel that it's a very essential part of life to do for your child to learn how to write in cursive. I mean, how else are they going to sign important documents if they only know how to write in print? So therefore, I'm teaching my children how to write in cursive, even though mainstream learning pretty much says you don't need it, but I feel that you do. I also include documentaries, and I write down the documentary, and I write down which one what it's about. Um, I also write down their different math assignments, what point they are on it. Their, um, they have a unit study dealing with their guinea pigs because they have animals. And I include that into their homeschool curriculum, dealing with keeping up with the animals, um, dealing with their health, um, grooming, um, learning about the animals. They do little projects, they do research, YouTube, finding out different information. I also use um, different media, like uh, dealing with math. Although I do traditional math with books and workbooks, I also use like YouTube and PBS, which has a lot of good ways of incorporating math um, to keep it exciting and interesting for them. I also do home economics with them, teaching them how to cook, you know, life skills, because today children, we're, they're losing life skills. I mean, we have adults that can't cook. I feel like that's the essential thing. You need to least, even if you can't cook well, you need to know how to cook something just in case. So I feel that's important. So I include that. And um, science, which, like I said before, we love science. Science has never been a problem with our family. We are, we love, 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 love science. So we incorporate that a lot in the homeschool science. And also we have our Bible, Bible lessons where we're studying um, 
well, at this point, we were still in the Book of Chronicles. And then we have our um, Christian songs that we sing and stuff, and we prepare for our meetings and different stuff like that. I include that in, too. Also, the children have their art. They have um, what I call the electronic to keep them interested. Electronic. Now, I'm not a gamer by any means. However, my children like to play games sometime on their free time. So, therefore, in order to know what they're doing and try to have some time with them, I also um, do where they try to teach mommy how to play a particular game. So, I, I let them teach me how to play. And I also teach them how to teach somebody else or train somebody else how to follow steps, how to follow orders and different stuff like that. Because at this particular time, they are able to teach their mommy how to do something versus mommy teaching them everything. Which... I'm still not doing too well, but hopefully I'll learn a little bit more because I'm definitely not a gamer. But some games I'm pretty good at, but not Minecraft, which I'm trying to learn now. But that's a good math game, Minecraft. It teaches them about math and stuff. Um, cleaning one on one. We have visual, what I call visual um, field trips, where we go to different places like Amazon, China. We go and do information about them. We watch a documentary on it or we go on YouTube and watch something about it. I also include PE, exercises, um, singing, karaoke. We even make stuff. I also make a unit study. We just, in January, we did a unit study on snakes and spiders. <clears throat> and also we have um, vocabulary fluency um, and we're working on mental math. Um, that was in January. This, all this is my schedule for January, by the way. So we had like a lot of different stuff, biographies. We uh, also included some, um, wait a minute. I also included some audio, I'm trying to work with them then with audio because I noticed that my children are good audio learners. Um, they might not always, I already knew that they was visual learners, but I'm just getting to know how there are very, very like, audio like my daughter she loved not only reading the book but listening to the book and she can it's like having all her senses combined like she really like the information really just filters in very very well my son although been with his dyslexia it's hard for him to write out everything he would like to say but i tell you what if he hear it and he sees it and you ask him questions on it, he might can't write it all down like he would like to on paper, but verbally he can tell you from A to Z what's going on, even details that I didn't even notice in whatever we're doing. So, um, I'll, and my daughter, she can write down just about anything. She's an excellent speller or whatever like that. So, they all have different strengths, and like all of us, we have weaknesses also. So, I work, try my very best to work with them on those things um we also did let's see see how it has monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday you can just fill it in and what i like about this planner it has little notes you can write in what little extra little stuff it tells you a little different stuff you can do in the community your weekly report how do you feel they did and certain stuff i wrote little notes to myself to remind me what I would like to do the next week. Um, this right here. Um, it just have a lot of cool stuff in it. And that's how I keep up with it. And I love the way it just opens up. Now, that's pretty much it. Along with, it has a lot of cool stuff in the back too. And reference sheets. And websites that you can go to. And it also has two pockets in it. So overall, I just love this planner. I plan to keep get, getting this planner just for me because that's how much I like it. Um, but this might be too big for other people. But however, I love it. So I want to share that with you all. So again, this is Tina from Lakeshore Academy. Thank you. Bye.